Michael Cohen on Wednesday provided the House Intelligence Committee with new documents showing edits to the false written statement he delivered to Congress in 2017 about the Trump Organization's pursuit of the Trump Tower Moscow project into the 2016 campaign season, according to multiple sources familiar with the matter. The documents Cohen provided are intended to further explain his public testimony last week, in which Cohen said that President Donald Trump's then-personal lawyer Jay Sekulow made changes to his statement to the House and Senate Intelligence Committees, and that it was reviewed ahead of time by lawyers like Ab Lowell, an attorney for Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner, the president's daughter and son-in-law who are both White House advisors. It's unclear what Cohen's documents show was specifically changed in the statement. Cohen testified Wednesday behind closed doors at the House Intelligence Committee. There were changes made, additions Jay Sekulow, for one, Cohen said last week. There were several changes that were made including how we were going to handle that message, which was the message of course being the length of time that the Trump Tower Moscow project stayed and remained alive. Sekulow pushed back on Cohen's allegations in a statement last week, saying that the testimony by Michael Cohen, that attorneys for the president edited or changed his statement to Congress to alter the duration of the Trump Tower Moscow negotiations is completely false. A CNN previously reported, according to two of the sources familiar with the preparation, including one close to the Trump organization and one close to the president's legal team, the lawyers had no indication that any of the information in the testimony of Trump's now former longtime attorney and fixer was inaccurate. Lanny Davis, Cohen's attorney, told CNN that Cohen himself referred the false line in his 2017 testimony to Congress about the Trump Tower Moscow project timeline. Cohen wrote the initial draft of the testimony himself, and then his attorney Stephen Ryan edited it, sharing it with other attorneys who were part of the joint defense agreement to review for accuracy and potential privilege issues, and those attorneys provided some suggested changes, a source familiar with the drafting of Cohen's testimony said. Cohen and his attorney approved all changes, according to the source.